Matt Starnell with Way Loving Recipes. Today I'm going to be cooking up some cinnamon rolls in the New Wave Primo Grill Oven so we can see how it does with that and we're going to get started right now. Alright, so for the cinnamon roll cook it's pretty simple and straightforward. I've got some Pillsbury cinnamon rolls made with Cinnabon cinnamon and icing. And I've got my New Wave Primo here, got a little cooking spray. First thing I'm going to do is turn the New Wave Primo Grill Oven on, up the temperature we're going to go all the way up to 400 and we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, preheat button and we're going to preheat to 400 degrees, going to hit start. I'm going to leave the time at that 15 minutes, I doubt it will need longer than that for this cook. And while that's preheating, I'm going to go ahead and spray some cooking spray in this uh, cake pan and then I'm going to put my cinnamon rolls in there and arrange them tightly in the pan. Preheat has finished. I'm going to take that lid off now and it reads five minutes, giving me five minutes to put things in. Set things right on the grill plate, close it up and hit start. And I'll bring you back in a bit, but for now you can watch the time lapse. go for seven minutes. I'm going to stop it here. Just turn it off here at seven minutes because look at this in just seven minutes. They look very good and that's just seven minutes. So I'm going to let them sit on the grill plate while I ice them. So they'll still be getting a little residual heat from the bottom there while I'm icing them. That'll just help my icing to melt in better. Alright, so we're all done in just seven minutes. I'm going to move them over here to this uh, wire rack here. Now I'm just going to try and get one of these tasty cinnamon rolls out for a taste test. kind of gooey so you know making sure I get it out well all right there's our finished cinnamon roll let's get the camera moved and do a taste test all right here's our cinnamon roll eight minutes I mean seven minutes really not eight minutes seven minutes you can't beat that so it's five minutes or so for preheating and then you've got your seven minutes for your cook 12 minutes that's faster than a conventional oven that you'd have to preheat and cook I mean that's good stuff. So you can check out the bottom of it. It's got you know the gooey, gooey gooeyness down on the bottom there, well cooked. Let's go ahead and taste this. So it turns out pretty good. You got a little char on the bottom because you cooked it up hot. But it's good stuff and it's very gooey in the middle. So I like them and I'm going to go eat some more. And so basically I'd like to hear your comments. You can find this and other recipe heating instructions at superwaveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Wave Oven Recipes. If you ever want to come directly to this YouTube channel, use waveovenrecipes.com. Also, you can find the podcast at anchor.fm slash waveovenrecipes or just ask your smart speaker or whatever podcast you use for the Wave Oven Recipes podcast. It's just called Wave Oven Recipes. And uh, also, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel. And good eating.